a brief summary about your upcoming trek to Everest Base Camp. The adventure begins with a 30 minute flight to Lukla at an altitude of 2840 meters. Maybe I didn't have to mention about Lukla flight. Even if you didn't fly to Lukla, I'm sure you heard about this many times. After the exciting landing, collect your bags and grab breakfast in town before starting the hike to Fagdeng at an altitude of 2610 meters. Day first of the trek will be one of the shortest and easiest day, as you will be hiking for about 3 hours and you will be heading downhill mostly. The trail passes by some small villages making your way further into the Kumbu Valley. Since you will be on some of the lower portion of the trail, you will have plenty of greenery all around you, with some snow-capped mountains further out in the distance. Even though there are no big mountains surrounding, it is definitely a unique portion of the trail to trek through following Dudkosi river down below, which you will be following throughout the trail. As you approach Fagdeng, you will pass a few suspension bridges before making it into town, where you will get plenty of guest houses waiting to serve you. Day second of the trek towards Namche Bazar will be a big day as you need to cover 12 km distance gaining 8000 meter altitude. Similar to the first day, you will have a mixture of terrain including a stone pathway to more technical uneven rocks later in the day. 6 to 7 hours of the hike will make your way up the valley as you cross plenty of suspension bridges and smaller places along the way. Be sure to take frequent breaks, stay hydrated and fuel up along the way. The route will follow the river further into a valley as you get the chance to take in some stunning views of the water down below and the mountain peaks up high. It is also one of the day with the most amount of suspension bridges crossing as you zigzag your way into the Sagarmatha National Park. While the route is moderate, uphill climb for a half of the day and second half of the day is the toughest and incline gets steeper and steeper. Not too far from Namche, you will come across one last main resting area where you will get to see first glimpse of Mount Everest itself through the trees. And then one last push towards to Namche Bazaar at an altitude of 3440 meter where you will be staying for overnight. Instead of continuing the trek towards Everest Base Camp, on day 3, you will take part of acclimatization hike to better prepare your body for the continuous high altitude that is yet to come. A popular day hike from Namche Bazaar to the Hotel Everest View, located around 400 meters above the town. Along the way, you will get a glimpse of the Mount Hamadavlam and the Everest mountain range including Lhotse and Nupche. After this beautiful day hike, you can make your way back down and enjoy another night in Namche Bazaar. After two nights in Namche, it is time to pack up your bags and make your way towards the village of Tangboche. Today's journey will take you high up alongside the valleys as you will slowly gain elevation throughout the way. First two hours of the trekking trail will give you the past views of the Everest mountain range including Lhotse, Nupche, Amadablam, Thamsirku and Mount Thabuche. On a clear day, these views are breathtaking and this is one of my favorite parts of the entire trek. Although it is an incredibly scenic route, the trail will soon become more and more difficult. Instead of continuing higher up in elevation towards Tangboche, the trail will head all the way down towards the valley floor on some uneven and rocky terrain. After crossing suspension bridge, it is time to gain all of that elevation right back as you make the final tough ascent to Tangboche. It is certainly isn't an easy climb as you gain over 600 meter in this last portion of the trail. Tangboche village gives you a 360 degree view of the Himalayas where you spend a night at an altitude of 3860 meter. If you are interested, you may visit the oldest monastery in the Khumbu Valley.
Day 5 of the trek, heading to Dengbuche village where you will be spending 2 nights acclimatizing your body at a high altitude before hiking another 1000 meter to Everest base camp. While you will be gaining around 600 meter of elevation throughout the two days high. Nearly all of it is done at a gentle incline. You will have great view of Mount Thamadablam and the Everest mountain range. In the middle of the hike, you will also pass through the village Pangboche, which can be a great spot to relax, have some food, tea, coffee, and enjoy the view of the Everest mountain range out in front of you. As higher you trek, there's a less vegetation, thin air, dry, cold, and windy. It is then hiking towards Dingboche village following the Imza river and experiencing a new surrounding landscapes. The village will soon come into the view at an altitude of 4400 meter where you will be staying for the next two nights. Another acclimatization day for the upcoming two more days trek to base camp. A popular day hike just behind the Dingboche village but it certainly isn't an easy hike as you trekking above 4400 meter and steep slope. But the views on the way up from the day hike are well worth the effort. As you hike for a day, it won't be a only hike. It is like a sightseeing tour with the beautiful views of the surrounding valleys which won't let you blink your eyes. After spending two nights in Dingboche, the trek starts with a gentle climb towards Labuche village. First two to three hours hike is slightly easier that takes you through the valley and up towards the famous Khumbu glacier. In the same time, you can enjoy the view of the Himalayas on your left, standing sharp on top, and Feruchi valley down below. As you approach the end of the Khumbu glacier, you will reach the small village called Thukla. This is a great spot to take a break and have some tea coffee. After about an hour of tough climb, you will reach Thukla Pass, where are the memorials of mountaineers who died on Everest and neighboring mountains. After Thukla Pass, another hour gentle walk alongside the glacier towards the Labuchi village for overnight at an elevation of 4,910 meter. A big day. This is the day you have been waiting for long. You are just a few hours away from it. Heading out of Labuchi and walking alongside the Khumbu Glacier towards Borakshev. Most of the trek will be pretty straightforward, however, you will find short and steeper section as well. As you continue to climb up, you will get better and better views of Khumbu Glacier, the Everest mountain range, and surrounding peaks. At some point, you will be able to see the top of Everest as well. About one hour of trekking section before reaching Gorakshep, walking over the glacier is tricky. So be sure to watch your step all the way through. Once you pass the glacier section, you will be welcome to the last overnight place of the Everest Base Camp Trek, Gorakshep, at an elevation of 5,180 meter. Drop your belongings in one of the tea house, grab some food and drinks, fill up your water bottle, gear up properly and get ready to trek for another 2 hours to Everest Base Camp at an altitude of 5,364 meter. The hike will take you alongside the Khumbu Glacier as you hike towards the end of the valley. You will have some great views of the glacier and surrounding mountains all the way through. After some time of hiking, you will begin to see the famous Khumbu Icefall as well as the top of the Mount Everest. Soon enough, the famous Mount Everest Base Camp Rock will come into the view. Surrounded by the Buddhist prayer flags, the rock is the final stop for the trekkers base camp. After enjoying a base camp for some time and wandering around the area, it is the same route back towards Gorakshep, where you will spend a night.
It is now time to start the trek back towards Lukla, but not before heading up to the Kalapatha 5644 meter to enjoy the best views of the Himalayas including Mount Everest. The trek up to Kalapatha will take about 2 hours as you slowly gain elevation and leave Gorakshep behind. The views will continuously get better and better. As you enjoy the Khumbu Glacier, Khumbu Icefall and of course Mount Everest itself. Once you reach the Kalapatha summit, you will have 360 degree views of the Himalayas. The most popular option is to hike early morning to get the best view and back down to Gorakshep for breakfast then continue trek down to Feruche, Namche and Lukla in 3 days where your trek ends and then fly back to Kathmandu. I hope you guys get some ideas about the trekking route of Everest Base Camp. If you are interested to do this trek, feel free to contact us. We will organize the trek as you want on your date within your budget. Cheers, see you in the Himalayas.